Hi, I'm Laurie. I'm a travel and lifestyle blogger at wildandgrizzly.com and I have been exploring Spain with my family and the Marco Polo. We love traveling and I think it's really important when you've got children to be able to show them as much as possible. I think it's just really enriching. I quite like getting on the road though to be able to see the countryside passing by. I think that's a real good taste of the country that you're in. The great thing about the Marco Polo is there's so many hidden storage spaces that you would just not think about, especially when you're traveling with a small person and they've got all of their toys and their clothes. Inside it is so spacious, it's really easy to drive and the navigation is great, which is perfect when you're traveling around somewhere that you don't know and you don't know the roads. Um, it's really comfortable. Cooking in the Marco Polo is really easy. There's a little fridge to keep all your food fresh, so it's easy to have picnics or make an evening meal up. And the seats swivel around inside, so you can all face each other with a table and dine together like a family. The sleeping arrangements is probably the most fun part of the Marco Polo, and probably the best bit of Felix's trip, even though we're showing him all the sights Spain has to offer, he's been super excited that the roof goes up and there's a bed in there that he can sleep in. It's very comfortable and it feels really safe. It is like being in a mini hotel on wheels, really. So initially we flew into Madrid, where we explored the city and picked up the Marco Polo, and then we drove across the country down towards the coast in Valencia, and then we drove up along the coast towards Barcelona, stopping off along the way, especially near the seaside, so if it could jump out and see some of, see some of the beach and the scenery. Madrid was a really fun city, very vibrant, very busy, lots of really cool colours to see. Um, it was good. Valencia is a really different vibe from Madrid. It's lots of trees, palm leaves. Um, it's very much what I'd imagine, sort of a Spanish city. It's quite nice being near the coast as well, so you can just either go by the seaside and pull up and jump out, or you could stay in the city and wander around and explore the streets. Barcelona is great, it's great fun. There's so much to see there. The hot spots like the Gaudi buildings and the food there is great. We've loved traveling around there, loved exploring. I think the car's great. I would definitely recommend this for anybody who wanting to do travel, whether it's just a couple on your own and you want to kind of have some adventure or whether you're with a family and you want to really show them the sights of the country that you're in.